Thousands of dollars stolen out of a Huntsville man's bank account, and the bank says he may not get that money back. So he called our KPRC2 Investigates team for help. Investigator Amy Davis is here to explain what happened and what you can do to protect your own money. Amy, good morning. Yeah, good morning, guys. So this is an old school crime still happening today, and technology has made it easier. It is called check washing, a process that involves stealing, erasing, and rewriting a check. And unlike fraudulent charges on your credit card that you can get cleared, it's not always cut and dry what your bank will do to help if you're a victim of check washing. It's 6300 bucks, it's a lot of money, I mean, for anybody. Stan Dorak was shocked to discover a check he wrote to the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles was changed and cashed for a much larger amount. Stan immediately went down to his bank branch and filled out paperwork for the Chase Fraud Department. But weeks later, he still didn't have his money back. They said that it's still under investigation. It could take 60 to 90 more days. And that's where I lost it. And that's why I contacted you, Channel 2. Stan did find out his check was deposited at a Chase Bank ATM, and there was no signature on the back. So they accepted a check that was unendorsed. He's pretty sure the check was stolen from his mailbox or somewhere in the mail system. That's how most of these thieves work. What a lot of them do is they'll go through neighborhoods and just check mailboxes. Pull things out, pull out bills. Ken Smiley with Amogee Bank says the reason check washing is so common is because it's easy. They'll take a, you know, like a scotch tape or low adhesive tape, tape and cover the signature and then dip that into whether it be a solution of paint thinner, bleach, acetone, which is just nail polish, some sort of solution to remove the ink, obviously preserving what's under the tape, dry it, and rewrite a check to whoever. Smiley recommends we stop using paper checks altogether and pay electronically through your bank or payment app. But if you must write a check, use a black gel pen. That's harder to lift off of the paper. Blue ballpoint is the easiest to remove. Drop mail off at a box on the inside of a post office. Don't let it sit in an unsecured box overnight. And since most banks post images of the checks to your account, go back and make sure nothing was changed on your checks. Go through each item to make sure it's legitimate. As for Stan, uh -oh. he's tired of waiting. They should replenish the $6,270 in my account immediately, and then they go fight and figure out how this happened. So we did, of course, check. The Universal Commercial Code says that consumers have up to one year to report fraud like check washing or forged checks to their banks. It does not stipulate how long the banks have to refund the customer's money. Mm -hmm. After we contacted Chase, the bank did put the nearly $6,300 back into Stan's account, but they didn't comment on the case with us. They did send us some information about fraud prevention at the bank. We've got that and a lot of other helpful information for you on clicktohouston.com. Yeah, that's too bad they don't talk about it. I think we'd all like to know how the yeah. check gets cash with no signature on it to right. begin with but uh, either exactly. way I'm glad the money's back in his account yeah yeah for sure, for sure. Amy.